بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ایز یو نو گاز دس از اور سیونتھ ویڈیو آن دس لرننگ گرافک سیریز سو ان دس ویڈیو وی آر آلسو گوئنگ ٹو ڈو اے لیٹر پروجیکٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک اے ڈیجیٹل ڈیجیٹل کال ڈیجیٹل کلاک ود دا ریئل ٹائم رائٹ سو وی ول میک اے کلاک اے ڈیجیٹل کلاک وچ ول شو اس دا ریئل ٹائم فار دس پروجیکٹ وی نیڈ اے لائبریری which is as you can see time.h right so you have to include this library in your program before jumping into the code right so let's start coding so for digital clock uh, we want to display something like uh, let me explain you we will first write here a digital clock sorry we will write digital clock then we will display digital clock in a rectangle then first we will display hours then colon then minutes and then seconds so this will be our design of simple digital clock right and now let's jump into the code so first of all we will set the set text style for digital clock so it will be bold font and horizontal direction right and its font size will be 4 so you can see character size right after this we uh, have uh, we want three arrays character arrays for storing our hours minutes and seconds so first will be our hours and let me give it the value of 10 then minutes this will be also 10 and then second you have to make these uh, arrays character arrays at least with uh, 10 value or 10 characters right if you declare these arrays with below 10 then some of your digits will not display properly on the screen right so after this we want to display the clock in the center of the screen as usual get max i love to draw things in the center of the screen that's why i always use this function and int y is get max y so from here now we want a loop an infinite loop which will continuously display us the digital clock so for continuous loop we will sorry parameterless for loop and then inside this for loop we have to declare a variable called time t right so this is our uh, time pyramid uh, time uh, which we have uh, included a time library this class is defined in that library time dot time dot h so what it will do it will return us the current time right and we will initialize it with zero it will return us total number of seconds from i think 1971 so after this we have also a built in structure in this time.h library which is called tm and which gives us actually the local time right so the pointer this ltm means local time 
and we will initialize it with local time right and we will pass it our current time sorry the reference of the current time so it will give us our local time so uh, the time is uh, what we uh, what we are getting from this structure is an integer value right so we want to convert it to character array for converting these values to character array we have a built in function called itoa and we will pass it the values first value will be the int value integer value which is ltm and we will get the ors right and the second value will be the character array or you can say a buffer which we are already declared with the name of or and the third will be its radix uh, which we uh, what we want to get the values in which form we want to get the values in binaries in decimals in octal or in hex right so we want these value in decimal format so we will pass it 10 if you want these values in binaries then you will pass it over uh, pass it 2 over here 8 for octal and uh, 16 for the hexadecimal right so after this the next function will be ITOA we are converting LTM and minute right so and then minute array then also decimal right and then itoa and then ltm and then we want seconds you can also see here you can take month month day and this is i, I don't know it no, what variable is this is dst and this is this is yesterday this is year and w day i don't know uh, which was its use so uh, let us have a tm second right and in second array we want to add it and in decimal values right <coughs> so after this we will draw a rectangle right For displaying our hours, minutes, and seconds, so I am going to pass it magenta color, and then how text x y. Now here we will write the x minus two hundred and y minus fifty. So we can write this character string on the top of our rectangle so these values are calculated before before doing this video that's why i have remember them so in here we will write digital clock and after this we will draw the rectangle rectangle and we will pass it x minus hundred and then y minus ten and then x plus hundred and then y plus forty right so this will be our rectangle so after this we will set the color again for our hours minutes and seconds and it will be you can say it blue right and then we will out text x y and here we will pass our hours minutes and seconds so its location will be from x axis x minus 80 and y will be the same and then we will pass it over h r means hours first we will display hours and copy and then paste it two times more and this will be x minus 
20 this will be x plus 50 so we can give gap in these values right this will be minutes and this will be seconds right so up till now what we have done we have written a digital clock drawn a rectangle and displayed our hour minutes and second and one thing more we want to display and that would be it's a text xy and uh, its value will be x minus 40 and y sorry y and then character array with the value of colon right so we can segregate between the hours minutes and seconds right so this will be x plus 30 and this right so we want to display our time after every second so we can see the seconds growing upward or you can say running seconds so we will give it delay of one second so after every one second we can see the next second on the screen right and lastly clear device so this was our code let me show you first code all we have set the text of the style right then we take three character rays then we take center of the screen and after that we have written a for loop an infinite loop then we take the time then local time then convert this time into a character string so we can display it on our screen and then we write a digital clock on the top of the uh, rectangle then we draw a rectangle after that we have displayed our hour minutes and seconds and the separator between the between the time hour minutes and seconds and lastly we have given a delay of one second so after every one second we can see a new time and then clear device for every new loop so let's compile and run it so what it says okay right it will become aware not dot okay it will be horizontal not is and what happened here local time was not declared in the scope why why it is not declared okay local time typo right here you can see we have missed I think something uh, because our digital clock is written on the left of our this pyramid uh, this clock so let make it correct so for this we will give it um, x minus 120 now see so everything is fine in the center of the screen we are displaying our digital clock and digital clock is also written on our screen so this is our a small digital project for graphic design or oh, sorry graphics in c++ as you can see we can see our hours minutes and seconds and actually hours are in um, 24 hours format as you can see it is 525 and you can also see time on my screen is also 525 right <coughs> so this was today's video up till next video Allah Hafiz and don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned with me